Hello, everyone. I'm uh, filming this short video as an answer to a friend of mine who is an Irish uh, gentleman um, who has had um, health problems this year and I received an email from my Irish friend uh, telling me that he suffers of tiredness and um, because of his illness and um, then I offered to give him some instructions how to regain his health and vitality. So in this video I will explain three uh, simple practices uh, and guide you through the practices um, uh, how you, you can regain your health and vitality through simple yogic practices. Uh, and to be exact, these practices, um, the charging practices in the middle of the sequence are so-called pranayama or lung uh, practices, which, um, you know, you, we can translate it as breath work or uh, exercise that has to do with uh, vital energy or um, uh, breath energy. So this is what I'm going to... Uh, teach you. So in the exercise we are about to start in a short moment. There are three different stages. The first one is just sitting down and relaxing for a moment and letting any tensions, letting them release. Sort of like you just relax all muscles and let whatever tensions there are in stored in the muscles, let these tensions release. So we're going to start with that doing it one or two minutes and after this we are going to the charging phase of these three exercises and this charging has two phases. So first we're going to do charging with breath. So we're going to do simple deep breathing. Uh, so we are charging our body mind through the energy that is in the air around us. So we are charging our body mind through breathing deeply, breathing fresh air into our, our body and then exhaling. And, you know, as you know, with exhalations, the body re removes uh, carbon dioxide and toxins. So, uh, so first we're going to do charging with breath. And after that, we're going to do charging from the atmosphere. So charging from the atmosphere. So it means that we won't be using the breath anymore, but we just remain open because all of our surroundings uh, are filled with subtle energy. Uh, you know, um, there is life in trees, there is life in the ground, there is life in the grass, there is life in all um, forms of life. And um, explained through the yogic th theory, this is prana, this is uh, vital energy or breath energy that um, we also have in our body-mind. And, um, you know, um, if our lack of health and lack of vitality is because of uh, if we don't get enough nourishment from food or if we don't sleep well, these two factors factors can lessen our health and vitality. So first we should check those. But if those two aren't the problem, then, you know, we can, you know, what happens with illness and what happens with actually with um, uh, self-belief uh, in the self-thought, what happens with self-based uh, thinking is that we, uh, how do you say, we separate our body-mind and our energy system from the surrounding uh, energy and surrounding uh, surroundings. So we isolate ourselves from this universal energy or prana that supports all life. So we're going to fix that uh, if that's the problem. Uh, if the problem is not in diet or sleep, through charging, uh, through connecting with the atmosphere, we get charged with this 
universal prana or vital energy directly into our system and I will uh, teach you how to do it. Uh, and the third phase is sealing which means that the prana or breath energy that we absorb from the air and then from the atmosphere we seal it into the body. We seal it in our body mind so so that it stays in our body mind and it nourishes our system nourishes our physical body organs and mind function mind functions and whatever so we have three phases relaxing charging charging has two sub phases charging with with breath and charging with from the atmosphere and finally the third one is sealing sealing the energy into the body so we'll begin with relaxing one two minutes so put your spine in an upright comfortable posture don't be rigid simply sitting in a nice upright posture actually i have to move move the table to take a better posture myself You can have your eyes closed or open, however you like, and then just feel the body. Feel the body. You can feel the body as one, or you can feel the body in um, different parts of the body, scan through the body, while letting all tensions release. At this moment we don't need to use muscles, we don't need to tense our muscles. So if we have accumulated physical tension through actions, through work, through activities, now we can really release it so that these tensions won't, you know, we won't, we don't carry them around because if we do, that is also what um, harms and restricts our energy body and mind. We get tired or emotionally stirred. If we carry tensions. So do let the tensions release, 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 release. Remaining completely present and aware mind remains clear we are not going into some state of meditation forget about that simply releasing tensions from the tissues of the body on your own if you like you can do this first phase of relaxing and you know make it longer but in this session we'll keep it like i said one or two minutes so now we will continue to the first phase of charging charging with breath which means that we will do simple deep breathing inhaling deeply filling the lungs gradually and then exhaling deeply no hurry Inhale and exhale. Inhaling, exhaling both through the nose. Inhale, exhale. And again, continue on your own. I'm just moving my hand here so that you can see the rhythm of my breathing, which you don't have to follow. I'm just indicating deep inhalations and exhalations. So keep breathing like this.
alternatively filling and emptying the lungs. Filling and emptying the lungs from the air around us. Air that is filled with vital energy. So this is simple deep breathing. So the shoulders stay down, the chest stays down. When we inhale, the, the stomach goes out, then the solar plexus area expands. And then the chest expands, but the shoulders don't come up. So we fill the lungs from bottom part of the lungs to top part of the lungs. And then when we exhale, the lungs, you know, how do you say? You know, just the lungs become empty. Keep doing this, deep breathing. Completely lucid in our mind, clear awareness. Simply feeling the deep breathing. Okay, now after exhalation you can leave the deep breathing. And just remain as you are, doing nothing. for a moment, doing nothing at all. If you do 10, 20, 30, even 50 or 100 deep breaths like that, after that you will feel that your body becomes warm and there's kind of this tingling energy in your body. This is the sensation of prana or lung or vital energy that I was talking about. So already now your system is charged with increased prana. And um, I will give you another little technique to enhance, to increase this charging with prana. So now inhale. Again, deep inhalation. And then after inhalation, hold the breath. Hold it as long as it's comfortable. And then when it's no longer comfortable, then exhale deeply, letting the air out. And again, inhale and hold and exhale so by holding the breath inside the lungs inside the body we are charging the body more effectively and more quickly a few notes about this practice so when you hold the breath Keep the face and head muscles, neck, throat muscles relax. Keep shoulders down. Don't raise your shoulders like this. Keep the breath inside the body. And by tensing the muscles in the stomach and solar plexus and sides, even in the back, you're holding the breath. 
but you only tense the muscles, you know, only those muscles that are necessary to keep the breath. You're not tensing in any way while holding the breath. So let's continue this. Inhale and hold as long as it's comfortable. And exhale. After exhalation, new inhalation. Inhale, fill the lungs. Draw the breath and then hold. And as you are tensing the muscles in the stomach, also you can tense a little bit the muscles of your anus and the muscles that you contract when holding urine. So also those two muscles in the pelvic floor. And again, when you feel like exhaling, relax the muscles and exhale. Do this a couple of more times. And one more inhale. Hold. And exhale. And then leave the exercise. Again, just sit. Just feel the sensation of increased breath energy. Still simply on the level of the mind, simply present in clear mind, in knowing mind. Not trying to do anything else. Naturally present. So here we have done charging with the breath, two different kinds, deep uh, breathing and then deep breathing with holding of the breath. Now we're going to continue to charging from the atmosphere. So here we are not using the breath, we are simply uh, doing the exercise with our body very much, with our mind or energy very much but connecting this body and mind with its surroundings, which is filled with universal uh, vital force. So, you know, like I said, um, self-based thinking makes us isolate ourselves uh, from the surroundings. So now we are opening the body and we are opening our energy for this universal space where the universal energy or prana is. So we can think, if you know about the body and the aura, energetic field around the body, you can think that you become open for the space and energy outside the aura. So aura is this energy field about a meter and a half from the surface of the skin, on all sides of the body, and you're just thinking about the space beyond it that extends indefinitely, and you're opening to that space and welcoming or inviting the pranic energy in that uh, endless field into your system, and you're absorbing it from this atmosphere from that atmosphere. So let's try that. You're still sitting in good posture. And now simply you can think of first your body for a moment. That is outlined by the skin. Then you can think of your own personal energy field or aura around you. 
above you, on the sides, in the front and back, and below your body. Sort of like a bubble of energy. So it is inside this bubble that you are suffering of tiredness, or lack of health, or self-delusion. It is inside this bubble, not outside of it. And then consider the larger energy body outside your aura, on all sides of the body. And now simply be receptive to it, receive that energy or prana from that larger field. Receive it with your body. Just be open for the universal prana to come to you, to come into your system. It's sort of like if we put a dry sponge to water, it automatically starts drinking or absorbing the water. It's the same here. You're just open for the prana to come to you. You don't have to do anything else but to be open and receptive. And your body-mind becomes charged, gets charged automatically. When you feel a charge coming in, simply be aware of it. Nothing else needs to be done about it. Just let your body, your energy system absorb it. It already knows how to take it in, how to absorb it, how to, um, you know, how to use it properly in the body made of organs, channel centers. Absorbing universal prana or charging from the atmosphere. So we will continue this for a couple of minutes, depending on your deficiency of prana, you might want to spend a lot longer doing this. But now we will continue for about two, three minutes. I feel a bit tired myself, it's evening, I've been working all day, so I also feel like charging a bit. From the perspective of yogic study, it's interesting now that the sensation of the prana received from the atmosphere is the same as the prana that we uh, took in with the breath, isn't it? It's the same kind of energy, same kind of feeling that the body gets charged with. Same frequency, same kind of tingling, same kind of warmth. With breathing exercises, you know, if you do way too much of it without any prayers or mantras or uh, blessings, there is a danger of overdoing it. And um, a lot of young people who do too much physical exercise or too much breathing exercises, 
they end up in trouble with overdoing pranayama. But when we are absorbing prana directly from the atmosphere, there is no danger of overdoing it. Because we are not doing anything. We are just being open. So when the sponge, when it gets soaked and wet, it just stops absorbing. And the same thing here, doing this, or being open like this. Continue a little bit more, filling the battery. Okay, I think that's enough charging for this session. Like I said, on your own at home you can do longer session. And then finally we are going to seal our energy into our body-mind. So sealing, uh, which simply means that now that we have filled our body battery with energy, we seal it in into the body. We are not uh, shutting ourselves down. That's not what it means. We are not again isolating ourselves from the surroundings and from the universal prana. We are simply sealing the energy into the body. So it's sort of like a mudra or a yogic gesture um, what we are doing here. So first of all close your teeth gently. The mouth, uh, the tongue rests in the mouth, flat, and just keeping teeth closed with a little bit of, you know, will, willpower, holding them down, holding them closed. Then put your hands like this. So the palm of the hand, hands are resting, and sort of like again putting a little bit concentration there to making the seal with hands and then relaxing. So teeth, hands and finally um, uh, depending how you sit we we'll do the sealing also with the soles of the feet. So uh, just put the soles of the feet as close to each other as it's possible. If it's very difficult, you know, uh, you can. Some people can put soles of the feet like this, or if it's not possible for you physically, you can just keep your feet feet par parallel like this, and just have the make the same sealing, uh, sealing, um, say, do the same sealing in your mind, so that you think that they are making a seal like this, or if you can put feet against each other, sealing it like this. So sealing it and letting it be sealed. So teeth, hands and feet. Making a full body seal with the idea that now the prana that we have absorbed into the body stays in the body, nourishes the body, nourishes the mind and charges the whole body-mind. This is not an affirmation that we have to believe that now the prana charges my body-mind, now the prana charges my body-mind. It's not like that. We have already re received, absorbed the prana, so we don't have to keep thinking about it. 
but rather just letting it, it do its own thing. So for a moment, let's say half a minute, one minute, your ceiling. While not isolating from the surroundings. Okay, then you can relax hands, relax legs, feet. So, um, this is a simple yet effective ways of how to regain your health and vitality. Um, uh, you know, if you suffer from tiredness, fatigue, even some pains, um, you know, or different kinds of health problems that you haven't yet found a way to deal with or how to heal them, I recommend trying these simple exercises, simple practices. Uh, and um, if you haven't done breathing practices before, uh, I recommend taking it easy in the beginning. Don't overdo it. Um, uh, signs of overdoing it is that uh, it be the body becomes too hot, uh, becomes uncomfortable, um, uh, can even increase aches. So, you know, take it easy if you're a complete beginner. But if you are familiar with meditation or breathing practices, you know, then you already know, know how to, uh, how do you say, control it or see when you are doing enough or when you are doing too much. So uh, I recommend uh, doing this set of exercises uh, once a day. Uh, if you feel like, if you have more time, do it twice or even three times. You know, uh, to see if, uh, just kind of do them as an experiment to see if uh, these exercises help you in regaining your health and vitality. Um, I have reaped benefits from these practices myself over my whole career of practice, so I know that there's something to them. But like I said, also a lack of vitality can be because of um, uh, insufficient diet. If you're not getting enough nourishment from food, that can cause health problems and lack of vitality and also uh, the lack of sleep. So these two are also important. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for my friend from Ireland. I hope your health gets better for your own sake, for your friend's sake, for your family's sake, and for ultimately for the liberation of all sentient beings. Thank you. Bye-bye.